What's up everybody? It's Mike. I hear you in the comments. Ever since I've started my little break on alcohol, you guys have asked me so many times for mocktail recipes. As you may know, I might be a little more calm in this video. I think that's partially from the lack of alcohol and partying in general. That and medication. I got medication. <laughs> and you'd think mocktails would be easy. You'd think that'd be an easy video to do. No, no, because they're all terrible. They're all so bad. You know me by now, you know my taste. There's either too much ice or it's way too sweet. I went to the bar and asked for a mocktail the other day and they just gave me a glass of pineapple juice. Which is fine, but you can't call it a mocktail and charge $15 for it. And not only am I currently not drinking, I'm also on a huge diet right now, which I don't know if this is a side effect from the alcohol, but I've lost 12 pounds in the last week. And these mocktails are literally just made of leftover shit laying around the bar. Most places I go just grab whatever sugary purees laying around, their simple syrups, and then the overly sugary drinks they got, like all the juices and shit, and they just throw it in a glass and overcharge because they're calling it a mocktail that's not gonna... Michael, your medication. So I did some research and I found five different mocktail recipes that are also healthy. And I'll also be sure to let you know what alcohol to pair this with if you wanna make it a cocktail. All right, let's go. Let me take this moment to remind you to subscribe if you haven't. I'm a globally disgraced celebrity bartender trying to make the world better one cocktail at a time. Now I found all these recipes online, but I tweaked them all just a little bit. Just a little bit to make them more intricate, more cocktail-esque. <coughs> but I will be sure to post all articles where I found these in the description below. The first one we're gonna be making is a watermelon mint spritzer. And I'm gonna prepare these like I'm preparing a cocktail. If you trick your brain, everything will be fine. I've been tricking my brain to think I was fine for years. The first thing you're gonna do is grab some fresh watermelon or you can use watermelon juice. I'm not a fan of watermelon juice. I feel like making too much of it is a waste. It's not a big deal. It could just be a personal preference because it separates so quickly and so easily. It just goes bad. When if you keep it in the chunks, I love that word, chunks. When if you keep it in the chunks, when if, you, when if you keep it in the chunks? My nephews, I call my nephew chunks. Guys, wanna see my nephew real quick? Feel like an old woman trying to show you my grandbabies. <laughs> Look at him, he's so chunky. My little chunkosaurus rex. We're gonna muddle up some watermelon, so go ahead and add in just a few in there. You really just want the juice anyway. Oh fuck, it squirts. You'd think I'd be able to handle something squirting at me by now, but it still scares me every time. Next you're gonna wanna put some ice right in over that. An ounce of lime juice. You guys ever squirt lime on fresh watermelon? It's so good. That with tahini, fuck. I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt to bring out the sweetener. Not too much, cause then you're gonna have a salty thing shooting in your mouth, you don't want that. It's right there, but I'm not gonna grab it. Put your cap on and shake it up. I'm gonna enjoy this in a coupe glass. I'm gonna strain her in right there. Okay, it's gonna take a second because of the pulp. Don't do this to me on the internet. Don't do this to me on the internet. Great, amazing. Grab some soda water. Pour that right on top. <gasps> Bubbles. You're gonna be the prettiest girl at the party. Grab some mint. She cute as hell. Oh, I get to taste it. Oh, it's been so long since I've been allowed to taste it. Ah. I love it. Oh, it tastes like there's alcohol in it. Oh, I feel my powers coming back. Shush, okay, okay. You can't drink it all right now. First one is a success. It tastes like there's alcohol in there. It tastes like it's alcohol. I don't know why, I think it's the citrus. If you would like to turn this into a cocktail, I would recommend adding in two ounces of vodka. Next up is a Paloma. Add an ice to your shaker. Oh, fuck, even sober, there's always chaos. In your shaker of ice, go ahead and add in two ounces of grapefruit juice, one ounce fresh lime juice, half an ounce of maple syrup. Shake that up. Grab your glass and fill it with ice. Strain in your drink. And then I got some grapefruit sparkling water and I'm just gonna put that over top. Ah! Add a lime wheel to garnish and there you go. A virgin Paloma mocktail. It's good. Ooh, it's refreshing. Oh, that's really refreshing. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, I love when things work out. And to anyone who wants to make this a cocktail, just add about two ounces of tequila. I recommend Casamigos. Next, we're gonna make a virgin blackberry mule. This one is easy, you just build it right in a glass. Get a handful of blackberries, put them right on the bottom of your glass, throw in a few mint leaves, muddle that together. Nate, are you in there with Cassie? No, mom, it's just me and dad. That's, that's disgusting and I need to be stopped. <laughs> 
Fill it up with ice over top. Pour in some lime juice, some agave or honey. I prefer agave. Oh God, I don't have a bottle opener. I lost it. Jesus Christ, what the, it's not even real beer. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> yeah, see, you're not gonna stop me. It's not my first rodeo. Pour ginger beer right on top. Ooh, oh, 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 don't come yet. Oh, don't come yet. Don't come yet. Don't come yet. Don't come yet. Go ahead and stir it up. So interesting that you could use anything, not just that stupid spoon. Garnish with some mint, maybe one or two more blackberries. It's like arts and crafts for people who used to have problems. And there you go, it's cute. Oh, I love I love this one. I love blackberries. A virgin blackberry mule. And if you want to, this would go great with either gin or whiskey. It's literally like a bramble. <laughs> These are better than the cocktails I make. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. And it tastes like an actual cocktail. Like it, it took it, it, this has a science. This is a mocktail. Throwing pineapple, orange juice, and cranberry juice in a cup is fruit punch. Sorry, I snapped, sis. I'm proud of this one. I love this one for sure. Next, we're gonna make a virgin spicy margarita. In a shaker of ice, you're gonna wanna add in some chopped up Jalapenos. Just like a few, because you don't want it to be burning hot. Or just take the seeds out, same thing. Then you're gonna add in an half and a ounce of lime juice, or you could do one ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of lemon juice. Add in a little maple syrup for sweetener. And then this is a secret ingredient I didn't know was a thing. Apparently, if you add in pickle juice, it gives it that funky taste, like tequila. I, I did think this is gonna be disgusting. I don't like pickle juice. I like pickles on my sandwiches, but I don't like pickle juice in my drinks. I'm not a pickleback guy, it's not my thing. But I'm gonna follow the recipe and see what happens. Oh my God, it spilled all over me. That's amazing. We're off to a great start, pickles. Just a little bit. That's, that's a lot of bit. All right, pickles go away. All right, go ahead and shake it up. That pickle juice better not have fucked this up. I will be pissed. Get your cocktail glass and fill it with crushed ice or ice that you tried your best to crush because everyone makes fun of you for the ice in your cocktails because they don't understand that you're filming this in your bedroom, not a fucking bar. So I put this all in a plastic bag and smash it with a mallet, whatever, that's what we got. Go ahead and pour in the cocktail till it's at least halfway or three fourths. Grab this, top it off with the soda water and I'm gonna cut another lime wheel as well as two jalapeno wheels. I'm not gonna rim this because I don't wanna add the sweetener on the rim. I'm gonna put some of tahine on top for color. <gasps> oh yes. I'm gonna pee my pants. A skinny virgin spicy margarita. Now you guys know this is one of my favorite cocktails. I would add mezcal to it personally, but let's go ahead and try it and see what it tastes like. Please be good, oh my God. Bitch, no joke, that tastes exactly the same. That tastes just like a regular fucking margarita. Holy shit. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's, I, this is witchcraft. Burn it. I don't know what's happening. This is a hack channel. I'm a hack channel now. Five minute crafts suck my dick. Oh, I'm, I'm drinking you tonight. There we go. And the last thing. The last thing we have to do. The last thing, the most annoying thing, because it requires a fucking blender. It is a virgin avocado margarita, apparently. I found this online and I'm gonna try it. I have no idea how it's gonna be. And I gotta say, I don't really have good expectations, but we're gonna do our best. We're gonna try it. You got a blender. In the blender, you're gonna add in one half an avo- Fuck you. One half an avo- One half an avocado. I just squeeze it in. It's gonna get blended anyway, who cares? Half a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm just gonna- There you go. One part lime juice, one part orange juice, two tablespoons of honey or agave. I am personally gonna use more agave. And then if you wanna make this a cocktail, you can go ahead and add in some tequila. I am not gonna do that and I'm gonna blend this up and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna put this one in a wine glass for no reason. I just, I wanna make it look fancy so I could charge five extra dollars for it if I decide to sell it to somebody. Okay. You know what's really good to have all around your lights and wires? Water, nice. Remember, Mac, if I ever die during a video, post it. Pour in your avocado margarita over the ice. Oh, it's still chonky. Oh, it's a little chonky. Oh, I don't know how well this worked out. That's not really a, a, a burn on the fucking cocktail. It's a burn more on my blenders. Shit. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna hide it. I'm just gonna hide it and pretend because if the audience doesn't see it, it didn't happen. I'm going to garnish this with a lemon twist. Excuse me. I'm giving it music. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna be, but 
There you go. There you have it, an avocado margarita. Swirl it in the camera, like swirl it, show it okay, off. Do it again. Sell it. Ooh, <laughs> Hold on, wait, no, okay. I wanna, I'm gonna do how you do it in your ready. It's ready saying, I'm gonna do how you show things off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god, Mac, oh my god, it's so good. Just don't sniff it, just put it in your mouth. <laughs> you sniff dick before you suck it. Right? It's so good. Oh, that's delicious. Right? Oh, that's really good. It's so good. Presentation could probably be a little bit better. I was gonna say, it depends on the dick, but then I got surprised by the flavor. <laughs> I think all of these were a success. What do you guys think? Which one of these mocktails do you want to try? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom, and click the bell to be notified. I need y'all <laughs> notified. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Mike from GTV, and you're fucking welcome.